Good morning, guys. So today is December... I don't know. <laughs> Something. It's Monday. Um, I would usually be at work right now, but I'm not, clearly. Um, so basically, last night, I was going to a Christmas party with my stepdad's mom. Um, we went to her Home Depot Christmas party. I used to work there. So it was nice, you know, I was going to see everybody. And I have not brushed my hair today, just FYI. Um, anyways, so, um, we were driving, and we pull up to a red light, and we get hit. So some guy was like, it was crazy. Okay, so like, backstory, I guess, a little bit. There was so much construction in this area, like, it's an insanely amount, and it's dark. That's no excuse for anything um, especially in the situation but I had noticed a car um, a while back down the road that was like swerving and he had it looked like he had went like into a turning lane that he wasn't supposed to be in because it was blocked off by cones and then there was a like a flagger guy like a construction worker who was like flagging this dude down like what are you doing like you can't you know you can't turn here like get off the road type thing and i just didn't really think anything of it i'm like oh my god this guy's an idiot like you know it's dark he probably just he probably can't see he's not paying attention type thing well um we get up up the route up the road a couple you know a minute or two and we're at this red light and we're stopped obviously we're at a red light um and this dude comes flying into us like he rams the back of our car so hard i have no idea how it didn't like total the car like he hit us that hard like i'm not even kidding um and then we ended up hitting the lady in front of us because he hit us that hard you know um and then he left yeah so he backed up and drove off like who so so pissed off i got like the first few of his license plate but i couldn't remember the last um last digit or two and oh my gosh thank goodness for this kid so this kid had like pulled over in the royal farms parking lot we were like in the middle of the road so we put our flashers on um, we got out, checked the car. It didn't look like there was, like, any damage to the back of the car, surprisingly. Like, I don't know how, but there wasn't. Um, and, um, the kid came over, like, ran across the road and was like, hey, like, is everyone okay? Like, I saw what happened. I actually got that guy's license plate number because a while back I saw him and he was, like, swerving in and out of the cone. So I just, you know, you know just for precautionary reasons he got his license plate number like seriously this kid was amazing like <laughs> it was so crazy that he saw it and like took that precaution and wrote his license plate number down like that's just crazy and i feel like that's something that i want to do now because he you know like now the cops can do something about it because we have his you know who it is um but anyway um, so we got his license plate number, the lady in front of us had called the cops, and the cops weren't actually gonna come because I guess they asked if everyone was okay, and like at the time, yeah, we were all fine, um, and there wasn't really any damage, but because the guy had fled, the cops wanted to come and get a police report and stuff like that, um, so the cops came, we went into the parking lot, he took all of our information down, blah, 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 um, <sighs> They got the guys, excuse me, they got his, um, his, you know, the plate number, so they were able to find out who the guy was, and, um, where he lived, and whatever, all of his information, <laughs> so, um, the cop said that he was personally gonna go, you know, to this guy's house tonight, and, you know, do whatever, so, that is why I'm not at work, because I had a, like, raging migraine after we got hit like I didn't hit anything luckily I had my seatbelt on otherwise I would have flew forward like I'm not even kidding I would have flew forward um but it hurts so bad like your your brain is just sitting there if you didn't know that your brain is just kind of sitting there it's not really like I mean it's connected to stuff but it's not like 
You know what I mean? Your brain's just kind of sitting in your head. So it moves around a lot. And I am not kidding you when I tell you, like, I feel like my brain flew out of my freaking head. It hurt so bad. Like, I had a migraine all night. And I was really, like, I was, I was nervous because I was, like, afraid I had a concussion because even though I didn't hit anything, you know, that was a, that was a hard hit. And, like, you know, I flew forward a little bit and slammed back onto the seat. But, oh my god, so I was, I was all night and I was so exhausted. I didn't get home until, like, 11 something, which is not late probably for some people, but I go to bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Um, at the latest now because I just I like to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> um, so we did that. Um, that's why I'm not at work today. It just hurts so 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 bad. Um, I still have a little bit of a headache. It's not. It's not. Excuse me. It's not as bad as it was last night. Um, but I didn't want to be at work on the screen all day on my computer screen. So, I had texted my manager this morning, and I, yes, I would have called her, but I do not have service where I live, and a phone call just literally can't be made. It just can't. So, I texted her um, this morning and got that taken care of. So, <sighs> oh my god, excuse me, I'm so sorry. But, yeah. So, that is my little adventure for my Sunday night. Like, I just wanted to go to this Christmas party, maybe win a prize. Also didn't happen. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So today, I am not doing anything. Even though I needed to go to the store. I'm exhausted. I have to get shampoo and conditioner, but I guess I'll go tomorrow. I'm also dropping off the presents tomorrow for the little girl that I um adopted for Christmas so I'm gonna drop them off to the outreach program um and yeah I have a um excuse me I have oh my god I just can't even talk anymore I'm so tired I am like it's like maybe 10 o'clock <laughs> but I'm so tired <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'll come back later. Hey guys, so it has been a little while since I have been on here. Um, I don't honestly remember the last day that I was recording anything, but I've had some updates. So, um, I honestly should have went to the doctors and got checked out right away, but I did not. Um, I had a massive migraine for the rest of the night. And then the next day I actually called out of work because... I, my head just still hurt so bad and I felt I just felt sick like I just felt very dizzy um, so I didn't want to you know I didn't feel safe driving to work so I didn't do that um, and then Tuesday I woke up at like, at like three in the morning and I just was vomiting like it was bad um, you know I cleaned everything up I made it to the trash can I woke up in the middle of the night I woke up with like pains. It felt like s hunger pains, but like excruciating hunger pains. Um, but it hurt. Um, it was like right in like the upper abdomen. It was just, it was really weird. I've never felt anything like that before. Um, but I threw up. I was up until like 5 30, 6 o'clock. I mean, I could barely sleep. So I did not go to work again on Tuesday. Um, now, yesterday I did go to work. I definitely had to go to work. I'm already going to be short of my hours this week, whatever. But, um, you know, my health is more important. That's how I see it. But um, I did have a, a bit of a headache all day yesterday. It wasn't too bad, but it was it was lingering. It was there. Um, and I was just felt a little off still. Today, I definitely do feel better. Still exhausted, but what's new? Um, so yeah, that's really all that's been going on. Um, but today my books and everything came in for my vet assistant, um, program. So I was super excited to get started on that second part. Um, so I figured I would show you guys, um, the stuff that they sent me. So I'm gonna, um, flip my camera around and then show you. Basically everything in a, came in a box. I, um, got this. It's just an introduction to their sponsors. 
We've got two things with our sponsors on it. Da da da. Da da da. Um, this, I'm not going to really show you because it has my um, information on it, but basically it's just got like my um, exam schedules and um, my uh, point of contact person. Um, this just came, you know, on top of the books, and these are the massive books. So this is like stage one through six, I think, and then six through eleven. Um, but they're pretty huge. But I also let me get this stuff out of the way. I also got some other really cool things in there. I got a Congo. They gave me a Kong, not a Congo, a Kong. They gave me a Kong. How cool is that? I don't have a dog right now. Um, I might just keep it because it's super cool and it's just a reminder. Um, it'd be really cool to give my dog as their first, you know, their first toy. Just of, you know, the things that I've done. Get all sappy here. But they also gave me a Kong keychain. Like how freaking cute is that? I'm literally, like I literally saw this and I'm like, I'm so obsessed. It's so cute. Um, but then they also gave me a pair of scrubs. So I just have to try them on, make sure they fit. Um, it's so cool though. It's like super sweet. Um, and then there's just, you know, my, um, this is just what my letter came in. But super, super cool. Super, super exciting. Also, um, on my iPad, I can show you kind of. Let me just sign in. Um, so I use Good Notes. I bought Good Notes, and basically these are my notes from stage one so far. Um, this is this practice test, which is pretty cool because the practice test is identical to the exams, so that's really nice. Um, it's really easy to study from. Um, my first test for this is due January 21st. Um, and then you also have like, save it, yeah, we definitely wanna save it as untitled for right now. Um, so really that's all that's been going on. Um, tomorrow I have to go to the mall to get a few things for Christmas. And that's really it. Um, so I will show you what I get tomorrow, and then I will ha probably have this video uploaded by the weekend. So we'll see. So I'm about to just go um, to the mall. I'm going to go to this gym. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to ask for a tour, see what's up with the membership, prices, all that. Um, and then I'm going to go to Best Buy, and I think I'm going to get these headphones. Um, and then I do want to go into Barnes & Noble to get one thing. And... Excuse me. <laughs> I think that's really it. Um, but I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna go. So I'm currently out here at the mall area. It is so crowded. As you can see, maybe I'm like wet. I'm flustered. I hate being out when there's a bunch of people. Like I hate going to the mall this time of year because it's so freaking crowded and I just I just get very overwhelmed. Um but I went into the um the Edge Fitness Club, which is where the you know the gym that I was talking about. And I um I really liked it. The dude gave me a tour. It was really nice. I was going to actually sign up right then and there, but I couldn't find my routing and account number on my online statements for my card or whatever because you needed that to um, to do it. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to go Tuesday to sign up after I get off work, which is Christmas Eve. Um, they, they're open, I think, until 5. They get off at 2, so it's perfect. I'll be up there at like 3. Um, and I just went in the Best Buy and got my headphones um, real quick, real easy. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I, um, you know, that's, that's really it. <laughs> I'm just very hot flustered now, so I need to get off here so I can, um, roll down my window and go and get something to eat because I haven't eaten today and it's like one something. So I need to go do that. Um, so yeah, until next time guys.